to. Starting. And this, this, this Sunday is going to be extraordinary. I'm not alone in the studio. My name is Austin and I'm with my humble brother, Mr. Rick. A very good morning to you. A very good morning to the viewers out there. We welcome you to Christ Ambassador, a house of prayer. Indeed, today is Family Deliverance Sunday. The man of God has declared this Sunday a Family Deliverance Sunday. So whatever you're going through in your family, um, you, might, you might find that in your family there are some um, foundation foundational problem that you're going through and you've been seeking for solution you've been asking God for solution today is the day for solution God is about to bring you a miracle today all you just have to do this morning is connect to collect connect to all things a possible network God is about to set the captives free today and you know uh, about uh, the family captive, when you read Nehum chapter 1, I think verse 9, it said there is a woman there. The woman is an harlot and at the same time a witchcraft. And the Bible says that she uses her witchcraft to sell families. But I declare unto you this by story. When you read uh, Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3, it said, call unto me in times of trouble. This is where our problem normally comes from. But the Bible said we should call on him. It didn't say we should call on our friend or our father or our mother. It said we should call on him and he shall deliver us and show us great and mighty things that has been hidden. So this morning we are here to decree and declare about anything, any, any, any family tragedies, any family uh, 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 tragedies that has been going on, anything, any spiritual replication. We are here this morning to declare and destroy every plans of the enemies. Indeed, last week, the man of God um, went down to Isaiah 49, where he says that shall the, shall, shall the prey be taken away from the mighty and the lawful captives be delivered. I love the, the next verse I say, but thus says the Lord of hosts, even the prey of the mighty shall be delivered. Today, your deliverance is here. All you just have to do this morning 
is call your family members wherever they are gather them together if you're not with them make sure you connect on their behalf or call them share this link share the broadcast to them and tell them you need to join the service because god is about to do a miracle today i see god changing lives one thing i can i can i can guarantee you is in the ministry of Bishop Ida Peter Sai, you cannot predict what God is about to do. So today, I know I have the conviction in me that something extraordinary is about to take place today. The Bible said it loudly and clear. It said men ought to pray. It said men ought to pray. Men ought to pray. Men ought to pray. So this morning, I personally invite you. We are not here to merchandise you. We are not here to play fun. We are not here to play games. We are here for serious, and we are serious about life and destiny. So I personally invite you, wherever you are, don't be left out. Make it a quickie, and then be here, right here, right now. Wherever you're connecting, connecting the service from, on Facebook, YouTube, on our ATV app, please make sure you share the broadcast on Facebook. Click the share button, share the broadcast, send it to your loved ones, send it to your family who are not able to come to the Miracle Center. Make sure you share this broadcast. And if you're on YouTube, go to YouTube Bishop Ida Peter side. Make sure you click the subscribe button and notification button so that every time that we upload a video, you'll be able to get notification and remember the bible says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony so i believe that somebody is definitely going to have a testimony after today so if you have a testimony of what god has done for you since the beginning of this year or since the man of god has been ministering about this deliverance and you want to share your testimony and you're not able to come to the miracle center please send in your testimony to pastor Ida at gmail.com or you can send it to our whatsapp line plus two seven seven nine six Six seven five six zero eight eight. God is about to set the captives free today, and I strongly believe that. And you know, one of the things that I love so much about this ministry is that you have to connect to collect. Make sure wherever you are, don't be left out. If you cannot be here this morning, connect on our social platform, connect on our uh, Facebook and YouTube, and God will. God, God is a God of reaching hands. He will reach. Out and reach. They say distance is not a barrier. Even if you are, even if you are in Kafanchan, God is definitely gonna meet you. Today. Know the God that we serve in the Miracle Center. This is Christ Ambassadors Church, the Miracle Center where captives are set free. Listen, if you are saying to you that you don't believe in this deliverance things, and you are facing. You are facing financial problems. You are facing difficulties. You don't have a job and you think it's ordinary. You've been waiting for the past five years for a job and you think it's ordinary. Listen, there is something behind it. So today is the end. All you just have to do this morning, like we always say, connect to connect. Today, God's miracle is about to locate you. And you know, people are still out there wondering why? How would this thing be? The Bible said that this thing does not go not except by prayer and fasting. That's right. We are here to wait upon the Lord. And you know there is a three different dimension of prayer. We have a we have a, a believer prayer, we have a priestly prayer, and we have a corporate prayer. We are here to do a corporate prayer. And I believe strongly that after this corporate prayer, something strong will happen to you. We are about to cross over to the main service. Get your spirit ready, get your soul ready. God of Bishop Ida Peter side is about to set the captives free. This morning, the God of Bishop Ida Peter side is about to set the captives free. You have to believe. The Bible says that if only you can believe. The Bible says that believe in the Lord your God, you shall, shall be established. Be but for you to prosper in the land that you establish, you need to believe in this prophet this morning. Believe in Bishop Ida Peter side and you will prosper. God is about to bring you a miracle this morning. Connect to call it from myself, Austin and Rick Mood. Enjoy the rest of the service. God bless you.
Let us pray unto the Lord and give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. The blood that was shed for our sins. The blood that purchased us unto the kingdom of God. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor this morning, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for a new day. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. This morning, we go going to have a wonderful service in the presence of the Lord. Family deliverance service. Hallelujah. Let us thank God for this wonderful day that today is going to be the day that the Lord is going to deliver us from all sorts of problems, especially from our family backgrounds. Hallelujah. Let us thank God for this wonderful service. Prayer. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for this wonderful moment. Mighty God, we pray and believe that this day is going to be a wonderful day, a day of deliverance for our families and our loved ones. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. We give you the praise. Manta breke suko prate, hila mala proto suko prea, hila mala preko soto breke le balaita, le maliko soto preka liko, hule mahala brahala rika zike, hile mahala brahala rika soto breke liya, hila mahala brata suke. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Father. We bless you, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you for this service, mighty God. Thank you for the hand, my your hand of power that will be revealed this morning, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We continue to pray for the service this morning. Let us pray that... The book of Exodus chapter 14, verse 18 says, Moses answered the people and said, Do not be afraid, stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring to you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see them again. Hallelujah. So, as we enter the service this morning, we believe that the power of God will manifest for the deliverance of our families. Hallelujah. The Egyptians that you see, the Bible says you will see them no more. Hallelujah. We're going to pray and say, Lord, as we enter this service this morning, let the Egyptians that have been following us, the Egyptians that we know in our lives, let them not be visible again in the name of Jesus Christ. Let, them, let us not see them again in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Prayer. Manta breko suto breta. Lima lata soko breke lito. Hula malaleke zeke breko luto suko. Father, we pray that Egyptians that they will see this morning. Father, they will never see them again in the name of Jesus Christ. And the power of God will be moving in the service. Father, the Egyptians will disappear forever in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you. Alito soko preta, hila mala preke leto suko, ole miko loto suta prate, 
from the, all the works of my oh father as your people are gathered this morning in the service oh lord that the egyptians that have been bothered in them oh father the egyptians that have oppressed them oh lord they shall see them no more in the name of jesus christ of nazareth Ele mala precozote, ele prata li o lo precozoya, ele mala precozote, ele prata li cozota, ele maliko zote, ele maliko zota. The Egyptians mighty gone that they will see, that they will see, that they will be bothering them. They will never see them again, my God. After this service, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, alito suto, ele mala praka zote, ele mahala ne. Alamre, ele maliko, ele prata leke ziko, iko prata late. In the name of Jesus, they will see them no more. The Egyptians, mighty God, will never be part of their lives. In the name of Jesus, aliko lita, ila mala breke, ele moloriko suta, ele maliko sote, ele maliko sote, ala prato loko sike, ila mala breke, ele mito. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for those who are coming from all corners of this country, of the province, of the city. We're going to pray for them as they are coming. Mighty God, let them come safely in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And as they arrive in this place, this this, this this moment will be the defining moment. Hallelujah. Let us pray for those who will be coming for the visitors that today will be a different service unto them. It will be a defining moment in their lives. Prayer. Prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will pray from the north, the south, and the, the west, O oh Lord. Bring the Lord, Father, unto your house, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, for their deliverance, bring them safely. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, La Preco Sula, Ila Mala Preco Sote, Ila Preco Sita Pre, Ola Mico Loto Rico, Ola Brica Sate, Mamre Leco. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. We're going to pray that during this service, the glory of God will manifest, that Jesus will be lifted. Hallelujah. The word of God says, As he has been, as, as the Son of God, I mean, as Moses lifted up the serpent, so is the man the Son of God. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray that the Son of God will be lifted up this morning hallelujah it's all about jesus but as the son of god is being lifted god will draw men unto his kingdom hallelujah let us pray for in the name of jesus christ we thank you mighty god that the power of the of the sacrifice the power of the cross will manifest this morning in the name of jesus as the son will be lifted up your power will flow your glory will flow in the name of jesus christ Men will be drawn unto you. Men will be drawn unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Lord. We bless you, oh Father. In the name of Jesus, let Jesus be lifted up. In the name of Jesus, so that God will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Shout glory unto the Lord. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Yes, we believe this morning Jesus will be lifted up. Hallelujah. Glory.
Отцы.
the goodness of my eyes have seen. My eyes have seen. say to him that and you know when you say to him you don't have to mind that I'm here you don't have to mind that somebody's sitting beside you you 
don't have to mind that you have your friend or your husband or your girlfriend. Just tell God, I love you. I think that's what we're going to say to him this morning. Can I get you on the keys? So I know the church to say this with me. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. Can we do it together? Let's go. Sing.
Lift up your voice. Let him know you love him. We love you forever.
tonight you healed the woman with the issue of blood. She knew her blessings, her, her healing was found in you. She knew everything is in you. Oh God, we believe everything we need today is in you. <laughs> For I know there is more than is found in you. There is more than is found in you. Just like you did it in the good books, huh? You raised Lazarus from the dead. Father, they knew that there is more than is found in you.
Take your seats.
Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God on behalf of uh, our Father in the Lord, Bishop Ida Peter Said, and his wonderful wife, Lady Amy. I welcome you all at Christ Ambassador's Church. Hallelujah. This is a miracle center. You're welcome. Amen. I also like to welcome our viewers that are watching us all over the world. You're welcome. Today it's our special service. Hallelujah. It's our special service today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome those who are worshiping with us for the first time. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, kindly raise your hand. Just raise your hand if you are worshiping with us. If you raise your hand, kindly stand up. Let's welcome you in a Christmas way. Please stand up and let's welcome them. You are somebody special. Welcome to CEC. You are somebody special. We hope you come again. No matter who you are, we say we love you. No matter where you come from, we will pray for you. You are somebody special. We hope you come Hallelujah. You are welcome to Christ Ambassador's Church. This is the Miracle Center. You are welcome. If you have no place of worship, you are welcome to worship with us here. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm sure most of you are wondering what's happening here today eh, with what we've won here today. We've got a special announcement. We're excited for our 20th anniversary. If you're excited, Give a shout of joy to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Our special announcement, we've got our 20th anniversary coming up on the, 20, on the 3rd of August up to the 7th of August. We have got a video to show that, and that's why we are wearing like this today. We are in the mood for celebration. We are in the mood to thank God's grace and the God's faithfulness in the past 20 years. Hallelujah. I believe we've got a video that we want to show you for our 20th anniversary. Media, you can play the video for us. Hallelujah. While we're still... Uh, preparing for the sound, you'll give me just a, a sign while you're ready. You can see we're wearing a special, special regalia for our 20th anniversary. Hallelujah. We've got t-shirts outside there for our 20th anniversary going out for 200 rands. And you want to wear this regalia as well. It's a beautiful tracksuit. It's going out for 650, the whole set. So it's out there. You can make your order with any of the committee members. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's watch a video now. Specially invited to our 20th anniversary celebration from the 3rd to 7th of August 2022, ministering Bishop Eda Peter Side. Any man that must walk in power must walk in faith. And faith calls those things that are not. Do you want to walk in power with God and man? Open your mouth. A man that must walk in power must be fearless to decree. Reverend Simeon Afolabi. The what we do regularly, what we do constantly, is what we become permanent. Get back to your pattern. Get back to your routine. Get back to the regime of your life and see how for all to die. Dr. E. Simeon. Without faith, you have no power. Without faith, you are weak and powerless. You might face tough times in your life, but I'm here to announce. Tough time. Never lost. But tough people with a stubborn faith, they can move mountains. Our music artist lineup include Minister Comfort and Love, Takido. 
Time Wednesday to Friday, 6 p.m. daily, Sunday's grand finale service at 10 a.m. Venue Christ Masters Church opposite the Civic Center, Hampton Park, Johannesburg, South Africa. For more information, please call plus two seven seven nine six seven five six zero double eight. Hallelujah. If you don't understand, Christ Ambassador's Church is turning 20 years. 20 years on the 3rd of August. So we'll be celebrating God for that. Hallelujah. We have a committee that is overseeing these preparations. We've got a video that has been prepared, and the media will show us now of the members of the committee. We ask that if you want to join any of the committee members, please watch on your screen. We've got committee members that are responsible for various uh, departments. Please join them and help us in this preparation for our conference. We've got a video you can play it for us. As you can see on our screen, We've got a security and protocol that's headed by Brother Norman and Pastor Sophie and so forth as you see on our screen. Hallelujah! For transport and logistics, Pastor Johan and Mr. John Gueshe. For marketing and PR, Mr. Trinity and Pastor Sophie. For decor and ambience, Pastor Sophie, Mrs. Jackie Jagunda, Mrs. Natalie Kasongo. Fundraising and treasury, Pastor Serami. Accommodation, Melissa Bartis, event present. We are celebrating 20 years as a church, and together we have a committee. If you'd like to join a department, please see the following. For food and catering, Mr. Calvin Lovu and Mrs. Jackie Jagunda. Renovations and maintenance, Mr. Norman Mahasu and Mr. John Gueshe. For security and protocol, Mr. Norman Mahaso and Pastor Sophie. For media, Pastor Judge, Pastor Sophie, and Mr. Trinity. For transport and logistics, Pastor Johan and Mr. John Gueshe. For marketing and PR, Mr. Trinity and Pastor Sophie. For decor and ambience, Pastor Sophie, Mrs. Jackie Jagunda, Mrs. Natalie Kasongo. Fundraising and Treasury, Pastor Serami. Accommodation, Melissa Bartis. Event presentation and programmers, Mr. Trinity, Pastor Sophie, and Melissa Bartis. Housekeeping and Admin General, Melissa Bartis and Mrs. Jackie Jagunda. Sanitation, Pastor Johan. See you as we celebrate 20 years. Hallelujah. It's going to be big. There will be food. We've got cow that will be slaughtered here. So please be here. Don't miss this opportunity. Hallelujah. We're also appealing for those who need transport during this time. We know we'll be here six in the evening, maybe until nine or so. So those who need transport to go home, please see me or Pastor Sophie or any of the committee members. Register yourself so that we know we can prepare for you. Those who need transport after the service, please see us on all any other committee members so that we can prepare for you. For instance, if you come from Pretoria and you are 10 or more, please see us. Group yourself in that manner. People from Soweto in that manner, group yourself and see us so that we can see how we can help you. Hallelujah. Amen. We also want to remind everybody that has made a pledge towards the conference, towards the anniversary, to please redeem uh, your pledges. We do need the help, we do need the money, we need the funding to do all these activities. So please, if you have not redeemed your pledge, please do so. And as well, if you have not made a pledge, please, we are looking for funds, please contribute uh, the way you can towards this uh, anniversary. Hallelujah. Amen. On that note, again, we will have a praise night on the 29th of July. Hallelujah. We'll have a
praise night on the 29th of July. It will be on a Friday. We want to thank God. Thank God for this conference, for this anniversary. Also, praise God. So we'll have got the priceless will be here at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Friday, the 29th. And we want all of you to be wearing all the, our 20th anniversary or the track suits. As I've said, the t-shirts are going out for 200 rands each. Please, they're available at the foyer. These track suits, pants, they're going for 650. If you want the top alone or the sweater, it's going for 350. If you're looking for the pants alone, 350. But please make sure you are wearing either the t-shirt or the track suit on that praise night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our weekly announcements goes as follows. We've got our weekly Wednesday service, midweek service, where we get a teaching. This is where our bishop says Christians attend. This is where we are fed in the word of God. This is where we are taught in the Bible study. Hallelujah. It's on Wednesday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So please, there us that and don't miss this opportunity to come and fellowship. Hallelujah. The youth, do we have got a youth in the house? Do we have got youth in the house? Okay. Yeah, we've got a youth service every Friday at 6 p.m. Please, parents, we appeal to you to make a means to bring your kids to church on Fridays at 6 p.m. This is where they are taught to stay in line. They are taught the word of God. Please don't hold back on your kids. Support them and bring them to church every Friday at 6 p.m. And they meet with the pastors. Pastor Sarami is the leader of the youth as well. He teaches them there. Hallelujah. On Saturdays, we've got Hour of Power. We are a church that prays all the time. Hallelujah. We pray every Saturday at 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. We call it the Hour of Power. So please don't miss on that. Do make time every Saturday to come and pray to God. Hallelujah. And on Sundays like this, we come and fellowship as a church. We call it the market day. We fellowship here at 10 a.m. every Sunday. Hallelujah. And today we've got a special service. And now you're prepared for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Testimony time. Testimony time. Our testimonies will take a lot of our time because of the how this service will go today. This service is going to be different. It's going to be crazy. Track suit or no track suit. Amen. I wanted to dress my clothes and come. They say we must wear track suit. I say who sees me with this one now would think the anointing is not there. We track suit. But we want you to make sure you get this. Okay? And the beauty of it is very beautiful. And it's winter. And um, so many people don't understand the power of fellowship or the power of association. The power of fellowship and the power of association. Most times we, we tend to separate ourselves from people or society or associations for no reason. You hear people say, ah, I don't want to belong there. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. When there's what we call a commanded blessing, it's called what? I can't hear you. It's called a commanded blessing. The Bible says where there is unity, there God commanded a blessing. There is a blessing that could be, would be released or could be released. That's how God works. God will say uh, in the season, in the next three months, there will be a commanded blessing that comes on Christ's ambassadors. I follow what I'm saying. It's called a commanded blessing. Now, that commanded blessing cannot be for everyone. Cannot be for everyone. That commanded blessing is for those that have connected themselves 
to Christ ambassadors. Attendance, giving, service, fellowship. That's what happens. So most times when an organization like this is doing something, a lot of people want to separate themselves. Now when you separate yourself and there is a commanded blessing, you are cut off. Absolutely cut off. It is just like if I say there's a money coming to this family. What's your family name? Oti. Odi. Okay, when you get there, there's the OD family, give them 10,000. When you get that 10,000, you know who is OD family. If somebody say, you know, I'm part of you, <laughs> what's your name? It's, you understand what I'm saying? Because that gift is for this family. This house is Christ Ambassador's Church. Therefore, when God wants to release a blessing to the house, to the church, he begins to look for those that are connected to the family. And it is those that are connected, not every time they say prayer, you say, hey, please, me, I don't want people to know me. When you say you are not serving, you have gift, you can play music, please, I don't want people to know me. What you are saying, I don't want God to remember me when he's blessing them. Because there is a commanded blessing. Are you listening to me? In that commanded blessing, you must come out and say, I'm part of them. I'm part of the team. I'm part of, the, of this group. I'm a member of this church. There, God now commands a blessing. He now commands a blessing. In a place of unity, he commands a blessing. So when we're saying, oh, buy a t-shirt, it's not about the t-shirt. It's about the association that you are connecting to the ministry. You are connecting to the house. Therefore, you can separate yourself Every time you separate yourself, you can't continue to do that. We lost a sister here, and I was speaking to the husband yesterday, two days ago. The husband said, now I understand what church means. He said, now I understand what church means. He said, I've been coming to this church for years, now I understand. He said, the people that came to my house... The people that came to pray with me, the women that came to support me, the men, he said, I now understand what church means. That church is not just on Sunday. Why? Because he associates himself with the house. Therefore, when there's a need, when there's an issue, the church will now associate itself with you. We had a sister here, I'm sorry, please sit down, that left our church. For over three years. And she, she died. So they came to me, what will we do? I said, nothing. They said, what? I said, nothing. I don't know her. I said, but she was here. But I said, but she left. For three years. What, where am I going to look for her? If I were good enough for her, she would have stayed with me. So they said, we want to form a group to go and visit. I said, you don't ever do that. If you want to come visit as an individual, go. I don't know how you're looking at me as if I'm wicked. <laughs> no, no, it's true. It's true. The Bible said they left because they're not part of us. Amen. Three years there you say, I should come and bury you. I don't know you. What we're saying is there is the power of association. We are a family. We are a team. Therefore, when we say, like they've just put up an instruction, look for a group. A lot of people will come. Your responsibility is to invite the people to. Our church is celebrating. Come and join us. Don't fold your hand and say, hey, we have a, a celebration. No, you must tell people, come and celebrate with us. If they don't want to come, tell them there's food. People like food, I'm telling you. And there will be food. Amen? Again, thank you. Look at that. See how many people are. Look at the response. This is family. Come on, put your hands together. This is family. This is family. I'm not going to drink these things. It's for every one of us to celebrate. 
Again, I made an announcement that there will be, uh, Pastor Sophie, you've not gotten back to me on those to be married. How many do we have? People. About five couple, couples. Okay, we're going to have a mass wedding on the 7th. I'm hoping my father and the Lord will be here struggling with visas, but we're praying he comes here so that he will help me do the, the wedding. And if you're here, you've been living with a woman that you're not married with. Listen to me. Whether you paint it black, white, red, you are living in sin. You are living in adultery or in fornication. You must get married. The Bible says if you cannot control yourself, get married. And we know that most times weddings are expensive. So we've decided on the 7th we're going to have a big cake. The, the food, we don't need to order for the food again. The food is going to be here. There's no too much ceremony to get married. We're going to do the exchange of rings. Those of them that will marry come with white, come with black, come with green. It doesn't matter. But we're going to bless your union. But there are conditions. And those conditions, please speak to Pastor Sophie. There are conditions. We don't want you to go to Hebrew and just carry one girl. And say, this is the one, marry us. No. We are Africans. Amen? There are traditions we must follow. We must make sure that the family knows you. You have paid something at least. Don't come and let me marry you for free here. I will not do that. So there will be conditions for us to make sure we join you on the seven. But it's going to be glorious. That's one of the last things that we're going to do on the day so that from there we can get into our, our party and celebrate Jesus. Is that okay? All right. We'll leave the testimony till after conference so that we can push push the thing. Uh, blessed to receive the offering. Offering time. Offering time. Offering time. Please, if you have your tithe, please come forward quickly. Have your tithe come forward. Hallelujah. 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 Come, this choir, I hope people don't practice. Uh, you practice. Uh, do you practice suffering, sir? It's like I'm always changing it. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for every hand that is lifted to give to you this morning. We ask that you bless them. You bless them, we pray. You bless them. Bless their careers, businesses, the works of their hands. Open up heavens for them like only you can. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please stand to your feet with your offering. Let's give to the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Yarado Sukapradakadi. Come and lift up your, your offerings and speak to it. You have a right to water your offerings. Tell God to bless you in abundance. Tell him to change your life. Tell him to bless you financially. Father, we thank you. Precious Jesus, we thank you. Awesome God, we thank you. We thank you for the hands that are lifted to give to you this morning. We pray that you bless them. Bless their careers. Bless their lives. And bless their businesses. And God's people say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Baba Twana Fuso That's about you do, God. Leave her chance we come on a
there is no when you get to the forest there are diverse animals there are uh, there are diverse animals i have known or noticed something about the lion the lion has some specific characteristics he doesn't jump as everyone jumps he doesn't react when everyone reacts the lion reacts at his own pace majestic have you seen this beast when he walks there are people that walk around him are, have you seen this small bird they fly around him he behaves like he doesn't see them he walks with some kind of arrogance now, now what gives him the confidence do you know why they call him the king Do you know that? Why? He has... No, no, no. Let me reverse. Every known animal, Emmy, has confronted him. Every known animal from the elephant have confronted him. And it's on record that the lion has not run from any animal. You didn't hear that. So when he walks, he's like, I've done this before. I've seen you before. I've conquered you before. I've won you before. We have come to tell the devil. Is somebody still here? We have seen you before. Ah. I went to preach in Nigeria. A woman started screaming from far. I'll kill you. Who brought you here? I say, are you bigger than the demon from Gokwe? <laughs> Do you know Kapinda? <laughs> <laughs> Where they take people collectively, we are still here. Listen now, I told God this morning not to waste my time. Yes. And I told God don't waste their time. Because you're a doer. All of those Saturday. Mm, Lion of Judah. Where is Melissa? Come. How are those satellites? children do you have? Three. You are tired now. Not tired. Where's your husband? Raise your hand. Are you tired? I didn't hear. I didn't hear you. Are you tired? Eh? I think couples must go into negotiation before you even get married. You should go into negotiation and say, I want two, three, then you know. 
I think it's a better negotiation. How many, how many boys do you have? Don't have a boy. You see now? Yeah? You see now? Leave her, leave her for me, leave her for me. That's why you say he's not tired now. You think because you have girls, eh? That you think it's okay. No, he does, he does not have somebody. They, they, Go and walk now. Go and walk. Go and walk. Don't worry. God is going to give you a boy. Then, then, then you can stop. Okay? Then you can stop. So accept it. Very soon. Don't, not when he touches you now. You say, no, no, don't leave me. I don't know what you've been telling him since. Eh? Nothing. Karato Suta, brother. Somebody help me with her. Don. Now, 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 open your spirit this morning. We are going to take back what the devil has stolen from us. Yeah. Satan is in arrears. He's owing us. Oh, he's owing us. Are you listening to me? He's owing us fees, owing us money, owing us houses, owing us cars, owing us properties. You don't understand. Satan is so much indebted to us that he's about to pay. I spoke to my family this last week. I was speaking to my younger sister. I said, have you noticed? She said, what? I said, we are close to power now. <laughs> For years, we've been pushing this thing. I said, we're close to power. Real power, not this thing we're talking about. Real power. I say we're close to power. I say it will be wrong for us. After all the sacrifices that our parents made, that we don't taste power. Are you still here? It will be wrong after all the sacrifices you've made for you not to enjoy the blessings of God. It will be wrong. For the Bible says I'm a rewarder of them that diligently seek me. Oh, Lion of Judah.
The book of Judges, chapter 6. The book of Judges, chapter 6. Please keep standing while we read. Judges, chapter 6, from verse 25 to 30. Judges, chapter 6, from verse 25 to 30. Judges 6, from verse 25. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father had, and cut down the grove that is by it. And build an altar unto the Lord thy God upon the top of this rock in the ordered place, and take the second bullock and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the grove, which thou shalt cut down. Then Gideon took ten men of his servants, and did as the Lord had said unto him. And so it was, because he feared his father's household and the men of the city, that he could not do it by day, that he did it by night. And when the men of the city arose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was cast down, and the grove was cut down that was by it, and the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built. And they said one to another, Who hath done this thing? And, they, when, they, and when they inquired and asked, they said, Gideon, the son of Josh, hath done this thing. Then the man of the city said unto Josh, Bring out thy son, that he may die, because he hath cast down the altar of Baal, and because he hath cut down the grove that was by it. Precious Father, we thank you for this word. Only you can do what no man can do. This morning, I take control over the atmosphere. I bind every contrary spirit, everything that would not allow God's people to enjoy the benefits of the cross. I bring it under subjection this morning. Satan, I bind you, and I command the angels of blessings, show up, open up the windows of heaven, let there be abundance. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Somebody say amen. amen. This morning, I'm speaking on the subject. There is something wrong in my father's house. I must correct. You may be seated. There is something wrong in my father's house that I must correct. Hmm. There is something not right. In my father's house. That I must do something about. I have always told the story of my family. That every person born of my father's house. Never had children early. I waited for 18 years. My elder brother for seven years. My eldest brother for eight years. My sister. Well, that one got married at almost. There was this kind of delay in my family lineage. I want to thank God that we're beginning to break those formulas and those formations of Satan. Now Gideon, a great man of God, was troubled in his spirit. 
Gideon kept wondering, where are the miracles? They told us of miracles in Genesis. In Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers. How this big God parted the Red Sea, did signs and wonders. Gideon started asking questions. You know, it is beautiful to ask questions. When you begin to take note that things are not in order, only a foolish man does not take note. So Gideon came one day to the Lord and said to the Lord, Where are the miracles? Where are the signs and wonders? The first thing the angel said to him, You great man of valor. He said, Gideon, you are a great man of valor. Gideon, you are anointed. Gideon, you have the ability to change nations. You can be a president. But the angel had a message for him. Said to him, Gideon, there is something wrong in your father's house you must take care of. You are a man of valor. You are a great man. You have potential to take over nations of the world. You can't rule the world while you can't rule your family. He said, there is an idol in your father's house that you must first conquer before you want to conquer the world. A lot of us want to conquer the world where there is something inside our family that is resisting our moving to the next level. He said, you're a great man. You are anointed. You have valor. You have power. You have the ability to speak English. But if you don't take care of something in your father's house, nothing will change in your life. Some of us are sitting here, raising our hands and shouting, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Amen. There is something wrong in your father's house you must take care of. If you don't take care of what is in your father's house, what is in your father's house will take care of you. I prayed for a young man. He follows me everywhere I go in Nigeria now. He came for one of my meetings and was sitting. As I was speaking, he stood in front of me and did this. Stop that nonsense. Ah, who wants a preacher in the church? Nobody does that. He said, I'm warning you. Stop that nonsense. I said, what nonsense? He said, you are taking back the hand of the clock. Let's face the future. Forget the clock. I said, no, sir. I want to see what is in the clock. Amen. He said, you don't know the story of this young man. His parents have served me since 1856. Since what? 1856. You are excited about 2002 or 2022. The devils are telling you 1856. He said you have not taken care of 1856 and you are talking, talking about 2022. You know, I have had a battle with pastors over the years when we preach this kind of message and they ask me what about Jesus? What about Jesus? Now that I'm a believer some of you are still asking the same question now that I'm saved what about Jesus? Do you know why the white man buys gun? Gun. Do you know why? He knows that they'll break into his house. Is he not a citizen of South Africa? 
Does he not have a right for police to protect him? Why is he buying a gun? You know why? License. License. He buys a gun because the government gives him a license. Jesus is our license. You don't hear what I'm saying? There will be thieves. There will be criminals. There will be arm robbers. But Jesus is our license to shoot. Am I, am I talking to somebody? That's what Jesus did for us. He gave us a license to shoot. We were all born in sin. But as we begin to grow, we take the license to be able to shoot. So whether you are saved or you are not saved, what God is saying, I have given you a gun. And I have given you license. His name is Jesus. Use it. I watched a movie. I've always told you of this movie years ago. They call it something of the dragon. They showed one Indian man, one Chinese guy. You know, this Chinese, this one, you came, my father, you came, my mother, I'm going to get here. Watch, you know those Chinese? He had a big sword. He did this, did this, did this. And James Bond was about to run. But James Bond had a gun. So he did. Ah, yeah, what? James Bond looked at him and just twa. And killed him. Because he had a license. There is something wrong in your father's house. We have come to let you know you have a license to fight. Am I talking to somebody here? You have a license to fight. You have the license to tell the devil, enough is enough. Give me what belongs to my family. Give me what belongs to my children. Give me what belongs to my destiny. Somebody said, talk to me, black man. He said, you man of fellow. You great man, go and fight. He said, what do I do? He said, go to the juju. If you're afraid to go in the morning, but juju, you must destroy. Or else, you remain where you are. Smart boy. He understood the mystery. The Bible says he went by night and attacked his father's juju. Scattered everything. And look at the history. Immediately he destroyed the juju he was called. He was told to come and lead Israel. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Because what used to bother them, what used to stop their family from growing. Magruta Sika brother. Somebody's about to fly. I said somebody's about to fly. I said somebody's about to fly. How do you know that there is a problem? How do you know that there is a problem? There is what we call sequences. It's called what? Se not frequencies. Sequences. Sequences. When something is in a sequence, every woman in my family divorces. It's a sequence. There is something wrong in your family. When every woman that comes from your lineage, your uncle, your auntie, this auntie, and this auntie, and this auntie, and this auntie, is always being chased out from their husband's house. Or you're a man, you can't keep a woman. Sequences. When there is a constant sequence, the sequence is happening and in wisdom you have noticed that there is something wrong. There is something wrong. Do you know that until Jesus they killed all the prophets? Including Jesus. He said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that killed his prophets. So Jerusalem was known for killing prophets. Jesus said to them, 
I'm going to Jerusalem. They said, don't you know that they want to kill you? Why? There is a record that every raised prophet dies in Jerusalem. But he said to them, this death, this one is not unto death. I'm going to rectify something. You don't hear what I'm saying? That the prophets do not die again. You don't hear what I'm saying? He said, I must go back and rectify something. I must conquer death. So that we don't die. When you begin to notice sequences, different kinds of sequences, you find out that in your family, people die at 40. They died what? 40. You find out that people are always dying. There's somebody here, you are, you are, they want to kill you. I just heard the voice again. You are 38, 37, 38, 39. You are here. They already have a date for you. Rasu Patekalia. Yes, I hear the Holy Ghost. You are 37, 37, 38. 37, 38. Laratu Suka Pratekaya. Come here. 37, 38. I hear you marked for that. That devil. Where is the person? Bring her here to me. Morotu Suka Ask her how old she is. It's a sequence. How old are you? 37. You see? Bring her here. It's a sequence. If you don't, if you don't break the sequence, it's been written. Hey, listen to me. It's been what? It's been written. Even Jesus says it's written. When it is written like this, only a bigger power, only a force, a stronger force can counter it. Maratusu, brother. There is something wrong in my father's house. I came to release you to fly. That your amen is suspicious. Amen. I came to release you to fly. Amen. I came to release you to fly. Amen. The thing that killed your father will not kill you. Amen. The thing that destroyed your mother. Will not destroy you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Rade Sila Daia. Put a microphone there. Please be patient with me today. I came to open cages. Zalatu Zalatu. Merekle to Singapore. I see her date. They've given her March. We're 2002. What? By two, 224, should be how many years? 39. 224. When is your birthday? 27 February. 27 February. Now, they have given her 202. This, this years are confusing again. 2024. Yeah, yeah, because this one is a problem. She's, she's a problem. Yeah, she loves everyone in her family. She wants to do everything for them. Even their parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fool. You <laughs> want to show them if you kill this one, they are gone. They are gone. She's the pin of that family. <laughs> so we got to make something terrible. And they think she doesn't love them. This one will go beyond. She's forever worried. Oh, my family. Oh, I want everyone to do great. What can I do for them? <laughs> she's a pin of that's the problem. And the parents, if this one dies, they are also going to follow her. <laughs> because they know this one is the pillar. She does everything for them. She doesn't think of herself. She God is, her God, her. there's a woman here. You have fibroid. Matai. God showed you to me last night. And I was battling to save you. I was battling to deliver you. You were almost like three or four of you. Three or four of you. Last night, I was tossing. My wife said, I, did, I noticed you did not sleep. But I was battling. I was battling with this person. 
I was battling with this fiber. There were about four women. I was battling with them. I'm battling with them. I said, God, save these women. Save these women. They said, there's one that her fibro will grow to death. It will be so heavy. Please, there's no disgrace. You're here. You're struggling with fiber. Come out. God is about to do a miracle for you. Please, quickly. <laughs> quickly, quickly, quickly. Sharatu supradakata. Maradu supradikalado sundabrade. Amen. Yarada sataladea. You have fibroid too? Okay, come closer. Please allow this service to go as God wants it to go. Because I said I came for people to fly. Yeah, this one going to destroy her career. <laughs> I'm my career. <laughs> there is something wrong in my father's house. Don't push it too far. Let us stay. Mahale teyaha. Malate hila talutaya. Yeri la bra de si la broda, grilla de salan da la bra de, yeri la bra di calabra de calabra da, zege de zigado zugabadaya. I I cancel. I cancel the written ordinance. If they've given you a date, I give them a date. Is date versus date. I came to declare that you will not die but live. Amen. For you are you are you will outlive everyone that is thinking you will die. You will not you just you 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 will so outlive them. That as I speak. Yes, yes, I feel it. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Why, why are you stopping us? <laughs> How many are you? Mm, yes, seven. Seven. Yeah. From, from the family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are in a family. We are from the father's side. We know the father loves this one. This one is very clever in the family. So we want to destroy that family. But we can't get in except this one. Got this one. Bring in a church. <laughs> church. We block church. Oh, church. <laughs> and she has not come for a while now. Yeah, because we, we always make her busy. She's forever working. <laughs> At the process, they can't even see. And she knows the work, but we confuse her. She'll be struggling. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm trying my best. Go, person. you spirit of death. <laughs> she works overtime. We're supposed to go to church. I'm working. <laughs> Oh, I want my chew to look nice tomorrow. Hey, I don't want problems on Monday. <laughs> we just mix up the work. <laughs> Monday, she's confused. Oh, what is happening now? Oh, she loves her work. She belongs there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but we know church. There, there's somebody here. You've been seeking promotion for six months. Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. I, I see your file. I see your file. And your file has been hidden for about six years now. Now, the promotion we're talking about is not an office promotion. That's not what we're talking about. Promotion is not always office. Promotion in destiny. The Lord said you've been locked up for six years. Holy Ghost, somebody please help her. Nothing would work for the last six years. I told you I come for you to fly. Bring them. <clears throat> Six years. I'll still preach. In short, I will do part two next week. 
Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh. We must fly. I listen to me, somebody. You can't stay in that place. Enough is enough. You can't stay in that place. Amen. Enough is enough. Amen. You can't remain in one place. Mara tu supradea. Ah. Masalati. Open your spirit this morning. Thank you. There's a, there's some, there's an open gate. Amen. I, 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 I remember the Lord speaking to Peter. When they took off the whole things from Peter's legs, he said, the gate is so Peter, go, go. Peter said, I thought I was dreaming. A man that was inside dungeon the third region of prison. Hey, not just third region, they shackled him. Then they put guards. One man said, go. Uh, he said, in a dream. They say it's not a dream. Go, go. Gate is open. You are coming out today. I don't care where the power is. I don't care who is responsible. Amen. That gate is opening today. Amen. That prison is opening today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Patient with me, please. That God has called you out is that your victory is secure already. For God to call your case. Radu Subra Dekada. Marades, that's a young man. You are not from this country. You're a man. You are not from this country. You heard that they want to kill. Not that they want to kill you. You heard that people from your family die. That there is something that kills them from your family. And you ran to South Africa. Where are you? You're a man. You are here. You are here. And you know you are struggling. You run. Come out. It doesn't, listen up. It doesn't matter how you run. It's not about running. It's not about change of location. There is good power everywhere. I listen to me. There is power everywhere. Until you are spiritually released. My goodness gracious. Go and ask uh, Jonah. Jonah went under. He says, see Jonah. Jonah, where are you going? Jonah. Jonah says, because of me. <laughs> are you following me? He ran and not only ran, went under. When the boat started shaking, they said some, something, is, something is wrong here. Jonah says me. Just throw me, throw me into, inside the water, they still followed him. How can fish swallow you, you don't melt? What are you doing with her? What do you want? There is a spirit of poverty on her. Help me take out the little. I just heard the word poverty. That she will be poor. Anybody following her will be poor. Anybody she gives back to will be poor. The one the, the children that gives back to the next children will be poor. The next one that gives back to the next one will be poor. What have they done? What have the children done? They have done nothing. They just came from a lineage. That devil is a liar. We are here to rectify that lineage. That her children will be blessed. Her children, children will be blessed. Her children, children, children will be blessed. I came as a prophet of the Most High God. I don't know who is responsible for your pain. They will let you go in the name of Jesus. There is something wrong. 
in my father's house we come to rectify it by fire we come to settle it by fire we come to replace it by fire listen to me you devil of poverty never again never again poverty ends today your power is broken from today you will never touch this woman her children her family not just that the next person to her god will open the windows of heaven that there will be so much money to look after this woman in her old age by the power and authority in the name of jesus you are going to fly you are going to fly to destiny your children will fly to destiny now in the name of jesus you devil of poverty go there is something wrong in my father's house if you don't rectify it you'll be here singing praise the lord oh single single praise the lord satan will be drinking coffee and drinking tea and you'll be continuing in that state there's a person here I don't want to call you prostitute, but there is a spirit of prostitution following your family. You are here, you are here. I just had a lot say, I want her to be a prostitute. She wants to serve Jesus, but she must be a prostitute because her great grandmother was a prostitute, and her great grandmother said, Listen. Her great grandmother said, If this one escapes, because there's one that became a Christian, if this one escapes and she's mocking us because she escaped, in their children's life, one will be a prostitute. And that person is here. If I don't save you, if we don't break that power, you will have four you you will have four children five children eight children you will be everywhere holy ghost this person is here by your spirit find this person for me this person does not want to be a prostitute this person does not want to is, there is nothing about prostitute in her life but there's a spirit there's a spirit you devil of prostitution i'm looking for you i'm looking for you in this house she has to go free she has to get married and have children walk with me holy ghost there is something wrong in my father's house i know sister millie if you know the gift she has with children she will never rise they will not agree. I will tell her her story now. They will not allow you. They will not allow you. No, 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 no. You know, this thing we're talking about, this thing, she will not die, okay? Okay, go. Get out, you're back on the floor. I cancel death. Now, let me clear this order. Now, never again. Get out. Get out. Get out. There's a tree in your family house. There's a tree. That tree, your parents used to pour drinks. You, eh? you, 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 you. you. There's a tree. The tree is there. It's there. She knows. And today, she got the cousin brother. Eh? For what? Yes, my brother, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. For what? Where's the cousin brother? Where? For what? 
There's a tree. I want to kill you today. Why are you coming here? Why? Where's the cousin, brother? Don't be afraid. Why? Why? Come, cousin, Why? brother. Cousin, Why? brothers. What kind of church did I come to today? <laughs> we open windows for people to fly. Hallelujah. We open the window. You can't put an eagle inside a cage. No. You can't put an, an eagle inside a cage. I'll kill you for that we For what? For what? Be patient with me. This is what I came to do today. Are you listening to me? There is something wrong. We have not even started church though. No, 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 no. no if we miss you today, we will not miss you next week. But, 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 it, it, your time has come. I say your time has come. I'll come to you. You want to say something? I'll come. You run away. If you like, run to Cambodia. What will chase you will chase you. It's a spirit. It's a what? It's a spirit. It's, it's, a, it's, not, it's not physical. It's not physical. If you take a mad person from, from Nigeria, take him to London, does the madness go? No. Madness will, go. Madness will follow you. There's a tree. There's a tree. You know her compound in the village? You know the, know where she comes from? Yes, I know her. You know her? Yes. I said there's a tree there. The fathers, the fathers used to put drink by the, you know the tree? Yes, yes, I know. You know the tree? Yes. How do you know the tree? I just know it. You know it? Yeah, I know. Did they tell you people? No, they don't tell us what they, what they are doing, but they are not the tree. They but you, to, they go there? They used to do it, yes. They used to? Yes. He has records. He does not clean record. He does not clean record. They used to, they used to. No, 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 no. Whether they used to, it's not a problem. Once they have gone, he keeps records. Your names are there. We used to drink, sitting under the tree. We slaughter cows, goats under the tree. We eat, and this tree is still they still green. Still green. Ah, still green. So it will be. Nothing will move for them. Nothing. Nothing. This one is a problem. Okay. Which one? This one. She. Oh. Yeah. This one. She loves this one, but this one just exists. He loves so much. Sure. Yeah. They are my brothers. They are my brothers. Yeah. The other one passed away last time. And you told me that something's coming. Come. Be careful. And she passed away. And she's still thinking about this thing. Why? How come? How? What happened? Okay. You see, even the lawful captive. Don't forget that. Any day you. You think Satan thinks he has you. Remind him. God came for the lawful captive. If we were pure, why is he dying? If we are all perfect, we don't need Jesus. Are you listening to me? He came because of our imperfection. So when you get up and say this person, no, 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 no. That's why he came. Come on, he came. He came. He came. He came for that. Lift her up and drop her. He came that she might have life. Now, in the name of Jesus, whoever is in that tree, whatever name. Is in that tree. I don't know how many family members are in that tree. I use Kamo as a point of contact. Everyone related to Kamo and connected to that tree. Liver. I 
open the window to fly. I release all of them. Okay, come on, lead them, lead them, lead them out, lead them out, lead them out. You are in charge now. You are the usher there. Lead them out, lead them out. Lead them out, lead them out. Your family members have been saved. Your parents have been saved. Your uncles have been saved. Your nephews have been saved. Your cousins have been saved. Come on, all of them, lead them out, lead them out, leave him, leave him. Lead them out, leave them out, yes. Lead them out, all of them. Lead them out, free them, free them. Take off the chains holding them. Take off everything. Take off, and for Kamu to, for Kamu, Kamu businesswoman, everything, everything. Whatever they are holding, come on, we lose you. Come on. Everything. She said we can release everything, not the money. Release the money for Kamu. Release everything, her business. Kamu, I see you driving your car across the border. Driving your car across the border. I see you driving your car across the border. My salary. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, five brother. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. I just had border. <clears throat> I just had across the border. Across the border. What now? Holy Ghost, you just mentioned across the border. There, there's somebody here. They are calling you back. There's a force. They, they did something and they are calling you back. They are not just calling you back. They want you to come back empty. You are here. You are here. They are calling you across the border. Across the border. I hear the voices it's getting louder. It's getting louder. They are calling you across the border. They say, no, you must return. You must return. Empty-handed. Empty-handed. That's what they are saying. They say, no, you cannot. You must return empty-handed. Empty-handed. Power of God. There's somebody sitting. There's somebody sitting. They are calling this person back. They say, you will not come back with anything. They say, you will not achieve anything. They are calling you back. The power of the Holy Ghost is about to deliver you. It's about to set you free. You will not go back empty-handed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Leave him, leave him, leave him first. Leave him first. They are calling him back. I told you, empty-handed. They say you won't come back with anything. When you walk, they take. You walk, they take. You walk, they take. They are calling. I see the voice, thick voice. They want this person to come and be, come and in the village. You know, messed up. You know those people that just gather in the village. They, they drink cuckoo boats. What did they do? Boat. That's what they want. You will just come back to the village location. And hey, I, 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 I was in Joburg. I was in Joburg. He will call all the streets in Joburg. But nothing. I was in Joburg. If you go to Joburg, hey, the lights, the lights are bright. Is that what we we'll eat? The lights are bright. The lights are bright. They want him to come back empty. Hey, who are you? We are enemies. They are want to block it. You must leave this church and want you to prosper. Uh, don't help me. You see, you know, for me, the worshiper, the worshiper assistant, this boy, he doesn't want, he refuses, he wants to worship assistant. He doesn't want to want to block him, want to be suffer. We are breaking his business. His wife is sick now. We are attacking his wife. Where's the wife? Daughter. He said you want me somebody. We said spiritual husband to sleep with. Yeah. Daughter and, uh, and his wife. We are family. We are family.
I will chain you from your head to your neck, to your waist, to your leg, to your toes, your hands. I unchain you, unchain you, unchain you. My God, I'm hearing a word. This is powerful. Oh, this is crazy. I'm hearing a voice. The voice is saying, I am Lucifer. I am Lucifer. I am Lucifer. And he is my servant. If he doesn't serve me, I kill him. That's what I'm hearing. He's my servant. No. If God be for us, who can be against us? Uh, he will not serve you. He will not serve you. Come on, go. 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 Let him go. I release his wife. I release the mother where she is, that when you get home, she will not be on the bed. She will be waiting for you to come back. Amen. I command a spiritual husband holding her. Go! Go! Let her go! Let her go! And let him go. Come on, let him go. Everything gets proper, prosper. Come on, he prospers in his business. You devil of ancestors. No, he won't worship you. He refuses to ask inside. Don't worship our sisters. You will not kill him. You will Christian, not kill him. Christian for what? Christian for what? You will kill this boy. Hey. Lucifer, you lose this one. Never again. In Jesus' name. You see, see, here in Johannesburg with bright lights. They are there. There is something wrong in my father's house. See, we're here shouting, taking bus, taxi, taxi. We are going. Say, Christian, Christian, what type of Christian? Hello, boss. How are you? You're fine? Yes. You remember? Bishop? You remember? You, you, you prayed for me. I killed the, I'm the one who killed the snake there at home. I was suffering the eyes. I was getting blind. The day you prayed for me, I brought the testimony that after I went up the gate, I was healed. I was healed. There is a God here. That same day you prayed for me. And your eyes cleared. Yes, you prophesied me. That snake you killed is a wrong snake. I was getting blind. My eyes was painful as if there is a sandstone and was getting red. But that day, you delivered me a prayer. That, that same day, I come out the gate of this church. I was healed. Wow. You are going to go back to, where are you from? I come from Limpopo. Limpopo. My family is, I come from my papa, my, all my families are Sangomas. But me, my father was a Sangoma, my sisters, my brothers. But me, I refused. When they call me, come back home to do those things, I say, I'm a Christian. They say, you are trying to be better. We'll show you who will deal with it. I told you they want him to come home and sit. Yes. Like Always they get to the meeting that this boy is, he think he's still smart. Still not as a Christian. Our family worship our sisters who are Sangomas. This boy will you have do. Have a car? Yes, the car. I bought a car. It's at home. I bought the car. Yes. Which home? Helen Popo. You left the car there? Yeah, I left the car. It's always for phoning me that is the spiritual husband with the sleeping here and his daughter. 
and he's suspecting me. I say, I don't know nothing. This is from my father's house. I don't know nothing. He say, she want to <laughs> divorce me and go back to her. You have to send for your wife. No, he, she's deciding to go back. He says, spiritual husband. I say, me, I'm a Christian. I don't know those things. Maybe it's from my father's house because in my family, see, uh, some women, they're worshiping ancestors. But where is she now? Where is she? She's telling him, Pope is the one who's controlling my business. <laughs> she's, con <laughs> she's controlling your business. Yes. Is she giving you small money? I said, when you get small money, you must save that money. Your life, your life will never be the same again. Yeah. Father, use him as an example. You say there must be a difference between them that serve you and them that serve you not. He has decided to serve you. Make him rich. Yeah. Mm, make him rich. Bless him. Bless him. Save his marriage. Save his marriage. I've not even preached my message. There's something, I'm still on, there's something that's only caption. Or headline. <laughs> only headline. I knew it was going to be two weeks. You will not die. You will not die. Where are you from? Namibia. Mm. Namibia. They will not kill you. Huh? They have said it uh, in my, through my mother that uh, there is such case, international case of uh, they travel with my auntie who raised me. Then it's, uh, they say that it will go and kill the generations. No, our, our job here is to stop it. What are we serving God for when we can't stop these things? We are tired of just English and grammar in the church. They say the suffering, the suffering apparently will be generational okay, from generation to no, generation. You, okay, whatever they said is what they said. Right. Hear what I'm saying. You break poverty in your family. Yeah. You break debt in your family. Yeah. I pray for you. That the mighty hand of God, the God that I serve, that has been with me all these years. In Jesus' name. That devil is a bastard. Okay. Please be patient with me. I beg of you. Six years. Is your school still there? How is it doing? Not so well. Not so well. I, 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 the Lord is showing me something like a, a, a circle. The circle looks like a well. Looks like a well. That circle looks like a well. And I see you going around that circle. <clears throat> you are going around the circle like this. And I'm, Lord, why is she going around this circle? He said, there is water in the well, but they don't want her to drink it. That's why she's going around with all the gifts, with all the grace that she carries. But she's going around that circle. There's somebody here, they are pulling you down. You are supposed to climb a ladder. Every time you want to climb, they pull you. Holy Ghost, there's somebody here you just showed me. Every time you want to climb the ladder, they pull you. Every time you want to climb, they pull you. There's somebody constantly pulling you down. You will get to a particular place, they will pull you. You will get to a particular place, they will pull you. You get to a particular place. is here. Jesus is here. They pull him. 
he climbs that ladder, it's about to hit. And when he falls, he falls like he falls back. Tracy, where's Tracy? Come. Quickly. He says, let her jump the threshold. That's what I hear him say. Please allow me to minister like this. Please. Please. It will get to your turn. Amen. Amen. He said, tell her to jump the threshold. That there is a threshold of 41. That once she jumps the threshold, it's over. So let's manufacture threshold now. You know what the threshold is? Some of you are clapping. You don't even know what threshold is. You want to know what threshold is? So that you can be, it will be like you are smart when they ask you. Uh, there's somebody here, your eyes, they want you to be blind. You are struggling with your eyes. Your eyes are bleeping. Your eyes. Your eyes. You had a dream, and in that dream, you were not seen. In that dream, you were strong. You say, What is this? When you woke up, you started seeing. You knew you were not, you were not blind. But in that dream, you were blind in the dream. You were struggling to see. It come quickly, quickly. You are here. You, you saw yourself. You couldn't. My God. God must be here. Larato supra de kada. Bring her, bring them. We must let you fly today. You must fly. Bring them here, bring them. I rebuke every spirit of blindness. Amen. I curse every devil of blindness. Amen. I break your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. I break your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. I break your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is a trash hole? She's struggling with her eyes. They want her to be blind. Just put her there. A threshold. She's pregnant? No, she's not. Okay, she will not be blind. Do you hear me? Never again. Jesus. Come! Free. Come and play for me.
Let her go. Let her go. I command you in the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Use this mark as trash and floor. You are going to jump, and is it that's it? You have younger sisters. Yes, daddy. How many? I've got a younger sister. She's one. How yep. old? She's thirty-five. Is she married? No, sir. She's not. She's not. You jump, you free, she's free. Okay? You are a mighty God. Who oh, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a mighty God. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name. things we do it is not a law don't go home and begin to jump over things and <laughs> jump over this and you see that's the problem with the body of Christ once, once something work here they turn it to law you understand when you see the miracle of Jesus it's spontaneous and it's once he will just see the situation, carry your bag and go. The next one, he said, go and wash. The next one, he said this. Yes, as the spirit leads. Amen? Amen? As the spirit leads. But when we become law, we watch too much TV. When we all saw TV Joshua, we started doing hand like this. We don't know why he was doing his hand like this. We, everybody would be doing hand like this. Now he's dead. Nobody's shaking hand again. <laughs> Must be led by the Spirit. Don't go and fight a battle that God did not send you. The Lord showed me fibroids dropping. Now I begin to cut them. He showed me. He showed me fibroids. He showed me fibroids. Cut him. God performing an operation. Now, Spirit of God, do what you showed me. Begin to operate. Begin to cut fibroids. The doctors don't know what to do. Uh huh. But you are the greatest physician. What you showed me, that's what I'm repeating to them. You are the great physician. You are the great doctor. When you touch, nobody can change it. When you heal, you heal permanently. Now, Spirit of God, begin to work on them. Now, here comes the power of God. Forget about me. Forget about me. Here comes the power of God. It's on you. It's on you. He showed me four of you. So receive, open your spirit, because it must be you. It must be. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Help her, please. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. 
What can you not do? <coughs> what can you not do? Let the Holy Ghost work on her. What can you not do? My friends say what God cannot do does not exist. What can you not do? Jesus. 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 Open your hand. Jesus. Jesus. We are praying for a family. Jesus. Go. Let him go and shine. Let him go. Come out of him. That's it. Did you come to my office? There's somebody that came to see me, the teacher. Are you here? A, the teacher, a teacher, a educationist. You didn't come here? What do you need, Mama? I want to be set free from the spirit of death. From the spirit of death? Uh, family generation. Oh, they've been dying? Yes. Look at my eyes. Let her go. Let her go. Jesus. Sit, sit. Sit. I was telling my wife I let you go last week. I wasn't true with you. Because by now that thing should be out. Look at me. You can see me. You can see me. I know you can see me. I want you to let her go. She will not die. You want to kill her. You want to kill her. You have to let her go. You hear me? You can see me. But you must go. Get out. Get out. Out.
Jesus. Loser, 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 loser. Take your sickness, take your disease. Take off that thing. Jesus, heal her, I pray. Come on, you devil of hell. What? She can't die. She will not die. You want her to die? You want to kill her? You want to kill her? Now you devil of death, take your hands off her. And she goes free now. At the count of three, you jump out. One, two, come on, come on, come on, whatever my father has not planted be flushed out, let it be flushed out. Let her lungs be healed. Her kidneys be healed. Now. Out! Now get out. It goes out and return no more. Go. Go. Out. In Jesus' name. Beautiful to walk in the steps of the city. All right, we'll pray. We'll pray. You see, they cut short my. Lift him up. They've cut short my message. Come on. Come and I lose you. I free you from poverty. 
I free you from poverty. Generational poverty. I break it. I break it. Come on and lose your hands and your legs. The Lord is saying to me, I'm like, I don't know why. It's... How are you? You look like an actress. What do you do? I do IT. You do? IT. IT. That's like computer. Yes, sir. You like it? Yes, sir. You do? Yes, you work for someone? Yes, sir. Where do you work? I'm at from Fontaine, Market SA. Oh. How old are you? I'm 22, sir. You don't announce women's age. <laughs> eh? She's still young. If you were like 27, 6 now, I would have, there's one young man, I would have told him, marry her. Now. We would even just do the marriage like now. We'll pay Lobola later. Is that your mom? Yes. And she, she's looking at you. Don't talk, she's still young, leave her. Before you say, Pastor, Bishop, let her go. <laughs> eh? No, she's still young. But you've gone to school. Yes. You finished school? Yes. Ah, but she has left school. We want her to help you in the house. You want to get married? Yes. Yes? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, let me look for a husband for you. <laughs> Sit down, face forward. Yeah? It makes sense, so. You are from South Africa? Yes, I'm looking for a husband. We don't, we, are not, we don't want a jobless man. But she says she's working now, eh? So we don't want a jobless man. We can we, we refuse. She's too beautiful for a jobless man. So, so those of you that are jobless, those of you that are jobless, when I pass, when I'm passing, just let me pass. The first thing you look for is a job not a wife. It's where you get where you get a job that will get you a wife. No, you have to let her go. Huh? <clears throat> you have to let her go. I told you, you must leave this family for me. Now, what is wrong? What are you holding? The business? Where is the young man? The business? Everything. 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 All of it. You are holding all? Yeah, all of it. You know, by now, they're supposed to be... Wait. Very well. Ooh. Massively rich. It's not possible. Yeah? It is not possible. It has to be possible. Ooh. You are closing the whole thing? You just don't understand. Explain. 
Where is it coming it's from? It's too big. You just, you cannot get it. It's, <laughs> it's too big. It's not for... Massive one. Joking here. I'm joking. You think I'm joking here? I'm not coming here to play. You think I'm playing? I'm not playing here. You think I'm playing here? Look, I just let them go like that. Yes. What is the root? What is the root? What, what, what gives you the authority? What is, what is the power you have over them? What gives you a legal right? They were given to me. They were given to you? Yes. The husband or the children? Or All the of, both. The husband's side or the sister's side? Even her. Even her? Even him. Both of them? I think I'm joking. Eh? I think I'm joking. You think you're joking? You are serious? Now, when this world comes, what will happen? Because I see worlds. I see when this I see, one she thinks she oh yeah, I'm not that one there. I just put little keeps quiet. Like you give them just little, little. Yes. But there's jangamos. It's enormous. Yeah? Enormous. Enormous. Yeah. Wealth. I think they will, you're wasting my time. Speak! I'm here. I think I'll let it go. I won't let it go. To, not today. These people are annoying. They are annoying you? Yes. Why are they annoying you? Tell me, because they are about to, they are about to hammer. They are about to what? Hammer. They are about to what? Hammer. Eh? You even want you even want to take their car from them? Yes, even us. Did they take your car? <laughs> They've taken the car. My goodness! See my little girl. You are here today. Wow. These girls, they think. The all the sisters. Ooh, where is me car? These people are annoying. The money they they think they can just show off. Oh, the, the sisters. All of them. So. So it's annoying. It's it's irritating. No. Why we don't have? Oh, you don't have. Yes. And and they want to they want to show off. They are having so much. They also want it. Oh, you also okay. Which family is this one? Now? They their own place. Their from, own. From their mother's side. Their own family. These ones. Their, their own family. Yes. Asking, we're, we're asking. Even him is the same thing. We're asking, what does he have? Hmm? Ask. There is nothing. I'm, I'm holding it like this. They, they're pushing me. They keep, they keep trying me. You will die. You've tried. Kill those you can kill me. I'm not... I'm not just go and kill those little ones. No, you, you are going to vomit the money. You are going to vomit the wealth. Not vomit. You, are, you see the way they vomited Jonah? Like Jonah, go. That's what you are going to do. Between now and September. What is September? Next two months only. They are busy doing it. Sometimes I wonder how it's possible. I take the good more. They're with me. Hey. Between now and September, a deal will it will come. Amen. That will, you will, will it, they say it will break the camel's back. Amen. Do you hear me? And this is the last time you will touch the sisters. Okay? It's grown like this. Yeah. Eh? Why? So it's among two now. Eh? All of the multi-millionaires. Don't worry. Any family member home? Any nanny? Okay, yeah, like here. Like here. Leave me. Eh? I said leave me. 
I'm not holding you. We are going to open up. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Lord said, open up kingdom for them. Kingdom. Open up kingdom. Give them key to kingdom. That's where your money is. Kingdoms. Give them the key to kingdoms. Where they are able to go and take as much as they want. It takes a king to walk into a kingdom and take without them calling the king a thief. <laughs> huh? Yes. All right, I release her. I release wealth. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Okay, release the wealth. To, don't go away. Hey. Okay, to the family. Release the wealth. The wealth. All of them. Call their names. All the sisters. Call their names as you give it to them. Okay. Okay, who are you? Who are you disturbing this family? Who is this jealous person that is jealous of the sisters? Who are you? Is she the first? Okay, come on, release the word. Release okay, all. No, no, no. I want all. Open the door. Okay. Everything. 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 <laughs> Everything. Now I set her free. I deliver you, your family, your sisters, your sibling. Whoever is jealous of you will see you enjoy wealth. And they will never be able to touch it. Now in the name that is above every name, I open the family door. I open the family wealth. And I release it to you in the name of Jesus. Now you devil of stagnation and limitation. Get out. Out. Loser, 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 loser. Never again will you touch her and her husband and her sisters. I use her as a point of contact. Let money flow. Amen. Wealth. Superior wealth. Flows to them. Now. 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 Now get out. Out. In Jesus name. Get out. Out. The money has been released. The wealth has been released. It goes. Jesus, I curse every power, every idol, where they put their names. I release them now from those idols. Let the power of hell let you go. Walk into your blessing. Now, 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 in Jesus' name. My Savior died for me. My sins were washed away. Don't cry. It's settled. It's settled. It's settled. May the Lord bless your family. Oh, may God give you money. May God do great things and may you have a child. I release your baby to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jesus. Let her go, let that one go. That's my daughter, she's not been here for a long time. Oh. Let her be blessed, is that okay? Eh? Let her be blessed. Is that okay? You can't keep her at home. She must come to church. You know she's my favorite. 
You know that. Eh? You know that. Now go. Is she still with her husband? They're still there. One child still. She doesn't want to have another one. She's scared. Eh? May God bring peace to that family. Come, can, can you, I need those four of you to stand. One, two, three, I'm four. Following eh? I'm following them. You're following them? Mm -hmm. You're following who? Share the husband. Mm -hmm. You're following them? I want them to separate. You want them to, to separate? Why? You're following them? Mm -hmm. Eh? Okay, release them. No? <laughs> Release them. Eh? They will not separate. Don't worry, mommy will be free now. You get your mom back. They will not separate. You will not follow them anymore. Okay? If you see them, you see me. It's a problem. If you see them, once you visit them, you see me. I told those four girls, four girls. Eh? I'm coming to them. Okay, you will not touch them anymore. You will not disturb them anymore. Go. In Jesus' name. Go. In Jesus' name. Chief. Chief. No! Are you a pastor? Are you a pastor? You're a prophet. You're a prophet. Who told you? Who called you? Most high. Ja. Most high God. Listen, I will come and tell you your life. Eh? You are waiting. <laughs> is this your first time here? I've been looking for you. You've been looking for me. This is serious. But he says he's been looking for me. But you are, I'm here now. Yeah. You say you are coming to tell me. I'm waiting to hear from you. <laughs> yeah, you've been looking for me. Yeah. For how long? For three weeks. Three weeks. Why have you been looking for me? They, they sent you to me? Nobody sent to me. <laughs> to see. To see. Yeah. I will tell you your life. Thank you. Will you listen to me? I will. You a prophetess? Yeah, it's my wife. You a prophetess? Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming, you know. <laughs> well, well, my goodness. Mon ami, ça va? Oui, ça va. Ça va bien. Merci, merci. How are you? Good, good. What's happening? Who, she brought you? You, you brought them. Wow. What's happening? This is not fake, eh? You know? It's not fake. If it is fake, your friend won't do like this, eh? She's your little sister. But she has a star. What? She's married. Is she married? If she's not careful, she'll soon divorce. It's going there. They want her to divorce. But she has a big star. She's born to lead. Listen to me. For what? Who, who do you think you are? I know, I know, I know. I know how it is. Who, who you, do you think you are? You are the strong man, right? Who do you think you are? Nobody can talk to you. 
Why do you want to deliver this family? For what? It's our first time here. Oh. Uh, myself, I've been away for long now. Uh, I don't know whether I miss my first time or, or first time. <laughs> my first time. <coughs> what I say, is it your first time? The person who asked me you, is it your first time? Uh, this woman, this woman has a glory. You understand? What does she do? Technician. Eh? Uh, nail technician. She does nails. Nails. Wow. She has so much things going for her. Not just nails. She, she's supposed to have come like shops. That's why I closed them shops. Oh. I'm closing everything. Yes. I want to close everything. Oh, she These children shops. cannot have anything. Nothing. She's a tiger. Tigress. Nothing. She's she they won't have nothing. She's Wherever she goes, I close. She's born. Whatever she does, I close. She's For born. All of them. She's born to lead. You know? She's like a, a, a go-getter. Yes. A person that takes people out of poverty. She leads and sets family free. You understand? Pays school fees for for relatives and, and make them prosper. That's the grace she carries. Now, I open all her shops. I open her business. She will not divorce. The Lord said to tell her that from now, her greatness is restored. Her greatness is restored. In Jesus' name. Amen. She's a tigress. She doesn't take no for an answer. She tells you, I can do this thing. She goes. So I'm born leaders. Like that lion I told you about. <laughs> My God. You, they want you to be prostitute. I said this in earlier. You're a very special woman, but somebody disappointed you. You it's fell true. in love and someone disappointed you. Since then, you just think men are... They are just nothing. But you're too special. You're too special. Hello? Hi. How are you? I'm blessed. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Listen. You have a spirit. <laughs> Amen. You have the spirit of a conqueror. <laughs> wow. You have the spirit of a conqueror. I open up kingdoms for you. You see, they are holding her wealth. Now I release money to you. Financial liberty. For you to do what you want to do. Let there be a flow. Let there be a flow. Financial flow. Jesus name. Let there be flow. Let money answer to you. Let money answer to you. Is it up to 10 o'clock? <laughs> After one. Why are you crying? It's okay. Help her. Bring her. Bring her. Bring her. Quickly, I need to go. Somebody's calling me there. Somebody's calling me there. The person is wearing maroon. <laughs> Lord, save these sisters and bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Yes, yes. Help me, help me. Bring her, bring her.
it's, it's beautiful when women are blessed. One of the reasons, one of the things I say, no woman must be messed up by a man. I'm sorry, men, but I'm telling you. Women suffer more when they're broke. Men push them here. Leave them when they want to leave them. Find another one. Say, if you want to go, go. It's not right. So we want the girls to have some money. The man too will have her. Because if the man doesn't have <laughs> catastrophe. You can't make money. Ha! Jesus man. Somebody's calling me there. Please be patient. We are going to pray. How are you? Why are people laughing? Why is he laughing? Um, sixpence Lizzie is she here where's Lizzie she's working she has a job oh Jesus is here ah by your faith according to your faith Keep your phone, we're in church, okay? Somebody here, you're wearing maroon. Okay, I'm seeing so many maroon now. You're wearing maroon. While I was there, I heard the Lord say, there's somebody here. I'm coming, sir. Said, uh, uh, there's somebody here wearing maroon. He said, I want to give the person a key. A key to success. Holy Ghost, there's somebody here wearing maroon. The person needs a key to success. Because the person has been denied success. But he said, I want to give the person a key to success. Holy Ghost, where is this person? You know, most times when I do this thing, I don't like to go and choose somebody because they will say he's a, he's a gangster. But I allow the Holy Ghost. I allow the Holy Ghost to move. It's better for me. It's better for me. When the Holy Ghost moves. Okay, you see that? Eh? You see that? You see? Is, ma is maroon there? A touch of maroon. Uh -huh. You see? The Lord said I should give her the key to success. She can't. She can't what? She, she open the doors to all the family. She will open the family. Big man. Ah, your seat is there. You run away today. Huh? Oh, sorry. Okay.
I don't know what followed you to this place. From your father's house or mother's house. They are going to let you go. Amen. Take off that Steve Wonder glasses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the sound of rejoicing fills this place. Please bear with me. It's long I prayed for you. It's long I prayed for you. Hallelujah. Yes. Success. 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 I can't block her anymore. You can't block her anymore. Yes. She has escaped. Uh, uh. Success. Uh, uh. Then give it to her. Let not see it, but let's hold it. Her and her children, they have escaped. And they are going. They are going. Yes. Then let them go. Not they are going. Let them go. Let them go. Ah, they are blessed. They are blessed. And I cannot stop it. Then let the success come in Jesus' name. Come. I give them wealth, success, breakthrough, the blessings of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Where is this money? I've not gotten the money. It's you I'm looking for for that lady there. Eh? <laughs> you see your sister? In the church, and I'm not a sister. You just saw him. You like him? No, no, no. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> ah, but you saw him. I don't like him. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the young man is a bishop. What are you doing here? Even if she likes me, allow me to choose. So. Okay, let, we'll do one or two prayers, then we will close. Then we'll continue next week. I've not preached. Marados, brother, Kadi. In Jesus' name. Is this your mom? That one. Who's this? You are with her? Don't be afraid. I'll come. I don't bite. Do I bite? I'm too good looking to bite.
sound of rejoicing fills us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Your leg is not gone. Is it healed? Which of them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a sound of victory. Where there seems no way. Look at me. Yes, she fair. Yes, she fair. Hey, excuse me. Yes, she Get up, 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 get up. Look at me. Look at me. How old are you? 27. 27. Look at me, look at me. Now get up. Let her go. She wants to she wants to get married, eh? Mm. Eh? Will you let her? You let her. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, I know somehow it's somehow. It's just like we're just sitting and almost like doing nothing. But please understand that the things of God are not the things of men. Please, so I indulge you, I beg of you, don't disconnect. As we're all sitting here, we have one issue, one need. Okay? It's not easy for me to do what I do. So don't think about yourself. It's tiring. But when I see my strength and I see that there's something inside of me that is not out yet, I tend to continue. Because that's what the anointing does. The anointing, it puts some means to solve problems. And my wife knows that if I get home, I can't sleep. Because that thing will still be inside of me for hours. But when I release it, I get home, boom, I'm free. God is happy. Okay? It's not that I enjoy seeing you. Or, okay, maybe I enjoy seeing you, but... It's not really that I enjoy seeing you. Amen? Bring her. Come on, let this come on, let this lady go. Come on, let this family go. They want to kill this your wife. They're mentioning her name somewhere. Lift her up. She's with me. You hear me? You thought all her life she's supposed to suffer. Mm. 
The Lord said she restore her. I should restore her favor. Now in the name of Jesus. Take! That's it. How are you? How are you? You are good. It's your first time here? No, it's my second time. Your second time. Let me not disturb you, right? Sit down. So that you will come back. Let me not disturb you so you will come back. Should I pray for you? You're sure? Are you scared? Don't be scared. Thank you for coming. Huh? You will come again? You will. Ah, that's good. Who are you? Done to her. Oh, dude, she said today I'm dying for the second time. Oh, oh, oh. That's how to get. She's number seven. Like this one, huh? Family to you suffer. see this one, I hate her so bad. This one, this one, she can't pray. Oh, we hate her. We hate this one. No, this one, we don't like her. Oh, 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 she can pray. This one, we like she for Satan. She just never see her. Hey. Last week we were planning to kill her. <laughs> Where is she from? Where is she from? <gasps> Chipolo Polo. Chipolo Polo. Yes. We are dead on this one. No! She has been disturbing us. Ah! You, ch you changed the whole family. Too bad. All of them. Too bad. Go. Too bad. Out. Ah! Come out of her. I restore her family back. I restore her dignity. Ah! I restore her family. Now in Jesus' name, I break your power. Ah! I break your power in Jesus' name. <laughs> you are the one raising your hand now. Eh? Jesus. Hey! Come here! Come on, this pastor should be helping me if I touch somebody who will pray for this people or else I won't go here today. By now you should be praying for people and setting them free. I can't do everything by myself. What's that her name? Coppola. 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 In Jesus' name. Let her go. Hold her. Guide her. What do you want to this little one? You know you are in my face. You know I've been looking at you. What do you want to die? How old is she? 18. 18. What do you want? <laughs> What do you want 
18 year old want to mess up her life Okay, let her go. Come on. Get out of her. Out. Let her be useful to the society. Come out of her. To be a preacher. How old are you? Yes. Twenty years. You know, is let's yeah. Who is it? It's my brother. Is he a preacher here? Yeah? Um. No. There's something about him. Go. His heart is beating fast. Your heart is beating fast, eh? You are scared? No. Not really. No, yeah, no. But just tensed. Yeah. He speaks English? Yeah, he does. Why is he not speaking? Uh, <laughs> maybe he's shy. There's, a, there's something on him. The glory of God is on him. I know he's young. He's 20. My goodness. Is it, you are saved? You're a Christian? Yes. There's something on him. Father, use him. I'm telling you, there's power on him. There's... Be careful with him. Be careful with him. Be careful with him. There's something about him. Spirit of the Lord, I lay my hands on this young man. Sure. Yeah. You see? Wow. <laughs> the glory of God is on him. God is going to use him. This is shy. Speak. Most people. Yeah. God is going to use him. Is he in school now? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. He's not going to forget today. When he gets home, he can't sleep. His body will be shaking. When he gets home, he. He's going to be full of God. He's going to be full of God. He's going to be full of God. God will deal with him when God is finished. My goodness. It's beautiful. Stand, let's see. doesn't happen all the time. Now. <sighs> when we're young, this is what we pray for. God will use you. Say, Father. Father. Use me. Use me. I surrender my life. I surrender my life. To you. To you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Yo. 
I open every door. Wherever your family doors have been closed, I open them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every power from your father's house, every power from your mother's house, responsible for a delay in your life. Who are you? You are what? No, 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 Please don't touch me like that. Please don't. Easy, easy, easy. I'm coming. Yeah. Mamuha Musi. Okay. You're special. Thank you. Forget the TV. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's your first time, eh? I'm an ugly boy. She's not. 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 You're beautiful when you're crying. Let's pose for the camera. Come. <laughs> Take us a photo. Don't cry. You're beautiful. Smile. And you're with me. Come. Can I, can I hold you? Huh? Can I hold you? Huh? No, she doesn't know. You'll be okay. Okay, please. <laughs> Don't worry, you're beautiful, okay? She's ugly. Somebody would have told her that. Raisa, somebody would have told her that. That when she cries, she's ugly. Pilot, cargo air. loves you. Jesus loves you. So I should tell you you're special to him. You are very special to him. Do you hear me? Don't believe any lie of the enemy. You are special. I've not even dealt with sorry I've been here you okay don't be scared are you scared yeah I'm scared of you uh-huh that's why I'm asking why relax at me. Look at me. Father, nobody touches this one for me. Get out of here. 
Is she sick? I command you to be healed now. Now go in Jesus' name. Now I'm coming to you. Yeah? All right. I can't pray for everybody today. We'll just pray now. All of we'll just pray together. Bring her here, bring her here. Hey. What? Matrimony. Matrimony. Yeah. You are matrimony. Yeah. She won't get married. Yeah. The, it it ended on the parents only. No. No. You see, they say matrimony, she won't get married. That there's a spirit of matrimony. Which means her parents got married, but but she won't get married. See, Polo Polo, look at me. Bless. We break generational powers. Any strange power that followed you to this place, they die by fire in the name of Jesus. You're back on the floor. I release the spirit of marriage. Amen. You are here, they say you will not get married. They say no one will see you. Every power that followed you here, that is determined that you will not get married. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Ah. Holy Ghost! Ah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The powers that held marriages, marriages from your mother, marriages from your auntie, marriages from your sister, marriages from your cousin, that followed you to this place, at the count of three, I command them to let everyone go. At the count of three, I command them to let you go. At the count of three, I command them to let you go. One, two, three, go! In the name of Jesus! Amen. Father is your servant. I rewrite his story from now. Step into what you've not stepped into before. The Lord says a new glory. It's as easy as that. Touch! Everybody, I 
It's a crown. I see 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 a crown. Where your crown? Where? Where? Where your crown? Nobody will steal it. Nobody will take it from you. Wear your crown in Jesus' name. <laughs> Man sorti bube, e bube ya sirike. Man sorti bube, e bube ya marama e. Man sorti bube, e bube ya marama e. Man sorti bube, e bube ya marama e. We take back what he has lost. I see an ocean of wealth. And God is asking me to tell him to jump and swim. Did you hear that? He said, I brought this young man here to make him wealthy. See what he did. What? That money. Which money? The one he gave. That money he gave you. Yes. Last week. He gives me money all the time. See, he pays a stupid tight. <laughs> he pays stupid tight. Take the flow dollar. That is stupid. I see him swimming. I told him not to do that money. It was too much. He shouldn't give. I was going to take on that money. That hundred what what that he gave ten percent. <laughs> it's you. He gave it here because of you. Morning. In the morning, he gave you that tithe because of you. And you are angry. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you earlier there. You saw me where? He gives too much. He gives you too much. He gives you too much. I'm a carrier of the blessing. Even here. Even here where? Is he giving me today again? Please, Father, touch his heart to give me again. You know what he's planning? What is he planning? It's too much. For me or for himself, for the church? I see him swimming in wells. I, I, I hear the Holy Ghost say he's going to consult for some big corporations. I see a I see a conference. Where is she? Who? She sits there. Who? Pastor Sophie. She prayed for him. She prayed for him. No, we must go back. <laughs> must go where? It's too much. There's a release of supernatural wealth. Yeah. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. You see, this issue of money finances has been condemned so much in the church. Because Satan, there's no one that Satan fears like a rich Christian. 
Because a rich Christian would do good. Amen. You understand? So Satan does not want any believer to have wealth. Because that wealth will be distributed. So he's trying to cage the teaching of wealth. Come here. I'm in charge. Yeah? What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? Why can't you just let them be? They are mine. They are yours. I should let them be. No. And one of the signs, this, you know, a lot of people might not agree. A lot of people that heaven, a lot of, a lot of, okay. One of the signs, really, that heaven has visited you is wealth. Wealth. Because you begin to solve what you couldn't solve. I'm telling you. Satan can allow you to have children, have anything, but he will not want you to hold money because money is power, it's authority. You understand? You think Satan wants you to sit with your children and be eating chicken? No, he doesn't like it. He wants you to be locked up somewhere, caged somewhere. He wants you to beg. And I know that most times somebody was telling me about evangelism, big crusade. I said, God did not call me for that kind of big crusade. Though. God called me to set his people free. Amen. For believers, I know me. For believers to enjoy the blessings of God. Because Poverty is a mockery. It's a mockery. They will gossip you in front of you. Is that gossip? In front of you, they are gossiping you. They are telling you, hey, what do you have? Look at this man. He's making noise. He doesn't have nothing. They are gossiping you in front of you. You can't do nothing. Streams. God brought him here to bless him. What? It's too late. Well, I got them sick. You got them sick? You know, let's say the first day they get sick, I get them sick. Mm. Is the wife here? Where is, it? Where is the wife? Where is the daughter? They said the daughter is sick. Is she there too? Yes. Bring both of them. Are you taking them? Eh? Are you taking them? They must be blessed. Eh? You don't understand. Was she sick? Is she still sick? Of what? The doctor just said it's a viral infection since Easter. Since Easter? Yes. How are you? Oh, you can't be sick. Jesus heals you. Amen. Give me your tears. I take your tears as the point of contact and I do a miracle for you with your tears. No more cries. You are healed in Jesus' name. Say amen. 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 Bring both of them, let them be blessed. Supernatural blessing on both of you. You will be the envy and the jealous of your family. People will not sit until you arrive. Huh? All that is mine. No, it's his. You stole from him. You are stealing from him. He belongs to his family. And he's next in line. You don't know who 
property is going to do <clears throat> gosh I release his family wealth from now you become the controller of your family wealth <laughs> everyone goes through you Because the bulk of the money will be with you. So you are going to run it. And we know you will run it well. Now be blessed. And be free. Be free. Come on, free. You have the world. Be free. In Jesus' name. Now you are in charge of the world from today and decree it. He has the check to his family. In Jesus' name. Okay, I release everything that is due you. The contracts. Whoever is not signing your papers, go blind. Uh, we take it by force young man your doors are open your miracle starts first thing on Monday morning Amen. he's done so much for me and I cannot tell you no alright let's pray how are you I'll pray for them later. Lift your hands. I'll finish the teaching on Sunday. Please bear with me, I beg of you. This thing is a process. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. My God. You see, every time I want to close, I hear another thing. I hear there's somebody here, they say you will not clap your hands. You know, clap of hand is a sign of joy. Amen. You are not just one. You are up to four of you. They say we, you will not clap your hands for joy. But the devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. You see, my God. The devil is a liar. You will clap your hand for joy. Joy is coming to your family. Amen. Joy is coming to your house. Amen. Joy is coming to your business. Amen. Joy is coming to your job. Amen. Joy is coming to your career. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Woo. Glory. Glory. Glory.
Something's moving, something's changing.
Thank you for those of you that were here. You need to be here on Wednesday. You see, I've, the Lord put in my heart that all through this month, you understand, all through this month, on Sunday, I'm going, on Wednesday, I'm going to be speaking on open the door and let me go. Amen. We are going to force the enemy yes. to release us. Yes. So I'm going to be dealing with this to the last Sunday of the month before we enter our celebration. We want somebody to make your first one million before the end of this month. Amen. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. We want somebody to be healed perfectly. We want somebody to walk in total liberty and freedom. I've, I've said it. My job is to open the door and allow you to fly. Amen. You will fly. Amen. I say you will fly. Amen. Where is prophet and prophetess? Are they still here? Please come. Prophet and prophetess. Come now, or should I come to you? We are not quarreling, prophet. Ah, you are too serious, though. You want to prophesy to me? Okay, prophesy so that you prophesy to me, I prophesy to you. We balance it. Who will start, prophetess or prophet? Tell us, Pastor. Tell us. We can prophesy for him. For uh, Bishop. We want to hear from the Pastor Ray. Madam Nassau.
Your face is too strong. Oh. Okay, relax. Because fear they catch myself. I say, if I calm down now. Huh? See as me, I'm laughing. Yeah? It's the way you used to be. Like this. Madam. You say you've been looking for me for three weeks. Yeah. Because why? You knew that God wanted me to say something to you. Or you just want to check me out. Or you just want to see me. Or you want to just strong your face for me. Tell me which one. Actually, it's a confidential issue. It's a one-on-one -on -one issue. It's not a public issue. Okay. Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Okay. We must respect people. Tuesday. What time? 10 o'clock in my office. You see, the Lord spoke to me years ago, said, anything you would do to dehumanize anyone, never do it. Every man and every woman must have dignity. Right? You can't take away somebody's dignity. The reason why we do deliverance is because the demon has taken over. So it's not the person anymore. That's how I do ministry. You cannot make person lose dignity. It's important. We don't do this thing because we want to show off. We do it because we want to help you. But if you, if the power of God hits you here, then we must walk. You understand? It's important. So any prophet you see wants to disgrace you, eat grass. Make you do no 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 no. There are things I know about people. If I tell you, it will scatter your marriage. What must I tell you? I will call you by the side. I tell you, hey, that girl you are following, leave her. If I'm telling you that girl you're following, your husband, wife is hearing me. Is it no problem? No, me I will not. Uh, so when we were younger, we used to do like that. Now no more. You, you, you protect people's dignity. Amen? Amen? Jesus said to the woman, I don't condemn you. But he knew she was committing adultery. Privately, when I said, don't listen. You know this thing is wrong. But sin no more. Ah, Baba, I told you it will work. Why are you here again? Is it, is it improving? Oh, you are talking. Was he talking last week? Say, it was. Yes. Why? You, it is not because I pray for you every day you'll be healed. Or you just came to church. Yeah. You will walk. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You want me to pray for you again to feel good? Yeah. <laughs> you know, when a man is sitting like this and can't provide, it breaks him. And if you don't have a good wife, Hey. Hey. You will walk. Hmm? You will say you will run. Hmm? Jesus. You will perfect it. You will perfect it. It's even looking better than last week. Yeah. Baba, you follow Jesus, eh? You follow Jesus? Can you let... Repeat after me. You can talk. Say Jesus. Yeah. Say, have you accepted Jesus in your heart? Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. Accept him again. Mm -hmm. Say Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. Say Jesus. Yeah. Eh? It's not fluent. It's not fluent in talking. How about he was talking just now? Eh? I thought he was talking to me now. Or am I in the spirit? It's not fluent yet. It affected his tongue, his speech. Jesus. 
Heal this man. Heal him, I pray. Perfect this healing. Thank you. Thank you for restoration of strength. Thank you for grace. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Paralysis, go. Go. I command strength to come over the nerves. Be healed and made whole. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you, you see me, you walk in here. Okay? Yes. You will not stay here. Don't worry. Okay? Good man. But Jesus must be in your heart. You must follow Jesus. Don't get well now. There you. Okay? All right. We must close. What's with him? I know him. Keep praying for him. Jesus, save him. Save him. Save him. Save him. Save him. Let him serve you with all his life. Let him follow you. In Jesus' name. All right, you are here this morning. You don't know Jesus as your Savior. You've not accepted Christ. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Listen to me. Hell and heaven is real. Jesus will come again. He will come again. He will come again. Glory. He will come again. God is healing somebody of bleeding. You've been bleeding. You've been bleeding. You've been bleeding and you don't know why you're bleeding. Jesus heals you now. Yes, Jesus heals you now. Please pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me my sins. I surrender my life to you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. On Wednesday, don't forget on Wednesday, I will see you by 6 o'clock. Please be here on time. We are using that spot. I hope it's going to be enough for us as we're going. We're going to use that place. <coughs> We've been dealing with this spiritual warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you people see what I see, you will be dancing. I just saw two angels doing like this. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, this is celebration, like, yeah. Bayana, Bayana, yeah, yeah, versus Zambia, yeah, I see angels celebrating, saying, ah, yes, we did it today, we bless them today, we bless them today. We are still dealing with families next week. I didn't even get to it. I will teach you how we can come out of this mess. How you can come out from these family issues once and for all. That you don't go back there. You live in constant victory. Constant victory. Consistent victory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow, what a day. May the Lord be with you. May his light continue to shine upon you. Amen. Hey, Jesus. Close the church now. Close the church. There's somebody that they plucked your hair. Sorry. They plucked your hair. Something like you saw that they plucked your hair somewhere. Where are you? I just saw somebody. You said there's somebody they plucked your hair. They pulled your hair. Wow. Wow. They pulled your hair. My goodness. You see, I would have closed. The Lord said they want to take the person's glory. They want to take your glory. So when they pluck the hair, 
my God. Is it there? Yes, sir. They want to take your glory. One day I will beg you to come to church from morning till night. You, 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 you will come? Who we'll asked you to bring takeaway? When you are tired, you eat. We continue. My, you say hallelujah. We'll get like four preachers, not just me. You want to finish me? Before, eh? It's true. Before, we used to start like nine till seven. Serious? People were coming. Yeah. So you're enjoying the church like this? But uh, people like uh, Amechi want to go and do electricity. <laughs> yes, yeah, see where they plug it. Uh. I restore you. No one will share your glory with you. Now, Father, in Jesus' name, I restore her. In Jesus' name. They plugged your hair? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. yeah? What? Ta! Ta! Restore. In Jesus' name. Nobody will take your glory. Let the wind of the Spirit go with you. Let the power of the Lord go with you. Come back with testimonies. Your villagers will never see you in their map anymore. Idols from your father's house will never locate you anymore. Those problems you came with, you leave them behind. Amen. For you will shine. Amen. Your glory will shine. Amen. Your power will be exposed. Amen. Jesus will go with you. Amen. Your victory is guaranteed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I will start teaching early next week. I want to teach some few things so that you can have an understanding and know where you stand. Amen? Amen? These things are real. These things. If you want to come to church next week and something stops you, know it's from your family. Are you listening to me? Know it's from your family. If you decide to come and they give you a job that Sunday, tell them you have already taken an appointment. We must settle this thing this month. Amen. There is something wrong in my father's house. I must settle it. Amen? Amen. Some of you will go home and you will dream of angels. Amen. You will see. Angels will be fighting for you. Amen. Angels will be releasing you and asking you to go. Amen. Because your victory is guaranteed. Amen. May God bless you. May his light shine upon you. I love you. Uh.